Science Centers of York University. I hereby confer on you the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa and Mitota Ad Grado. Congratulations. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, bonjour. I am absolutely thrilled to be here at York University today. I wish I could see you all a little bit better. It is such a privilege to have the chance to address such a learned audience, and uh, I thank you for that. I hope you understand, however, that we didn't put those colorful robes and, and did our hair and trimmed our beards, well, those of us who have either one or both or none, just for the fun of it. And uh, we are gathered here because of you guys. The sole reason for our presence here is to celebrate and to congratulate you on your achievements and to reward you for years of effort. We are here because you've made it. Through perseverance and dedication, you have completed a rigorous academic program. You have achieved your milestone. And perhaps most importantly, you have given yourself one of the most fundamental tickets to the road to success, furthering your education. So this is indeed a great day. This is a time to celebrate, to pat on the back, to jump, scream, have fun, and then embrace yourself. Because after that, meaning tomorrow and subs, it's time for payback. <laughs> I mean it. It's time for payback. Because now, you have a responsibility, a privilege. Unfortunately, or fortunately, always comes with a responsibility. And you are now graduates of a mighty institution called York University, and you will have to uphold very serious traditions. You have the responsibility to do something with all that knowledge that you've acquired, and to use your brains and your smarts, your experience, to do some good. You have the responsibility to be all you can be. No choice. Be involved, be active. Don't settle for mediocrity. Some wise person once said, I read it somewhere, that the road through life is dotted with very many tempting parking places. Resist the temptation. Involve yourself. Don't just let things happen. It's easier to wait for opportunities and to create them, but it's much more rewarding. Have passion, vision, and a lot of opinions. Oh, and while you're doing that, please, you also have the responsibility, and that's really important, to have fun. It's a lot easier to go through life when one likes what they do. Whatever you do, wherever you go, please do me a favor and stay open to change, to new ideas. Stay on the lookout for the unknown, for the unchartered. Open your eyes and dare to dream. When I was a little girl growing up in Montreal, um, from French-Canadian descent, I remember watching on TV those guys. They would go into this big white rocket, put their spacesuit, and then fly to the moon. Then on the moon, they would drive a jeep, a lunar jeep. I've always wanted to drive that lunar jeep. I bought one since. It's not quite the same, but it's the closest I could get. And the reason I wanted to do that is not because it seemed right. It didn't. I was a girl in the early 70s, spoke only French at the time. There was no such thing as a Canadian astronaut yet. It was about to come. And space travel was still for other people, other nations. So I had the wrong nationality. It didn't matter when you're 10 years old and there's something fascinating to do, you dream about it. Why do we lose that later in life, that idea? 
that we can still accomplish something that maybe other people tell us that we can't. And that you have to keep with you for the rest of your life. Dare to dream. Going to space is, of course, a little unique. It's an opportunity to see an incredible sight called the planet Earth from above. That is the true privilege of space travelers right now. One day, it'll be more open to people. Instead of just an international space station like we have right now, which is a basic science laboratory, we'll have hotels and institutions and infrastructure in space for people to go and indeed contemplate our planet. Perhaps when we do so in greater number, we'll have a better outlook on how precious and completely unique this planet is for us. I've had this opportunity, and the only thing I can think of is the fact that there is only one place we can live, and this place here we share, us all. And whether or not we have borders and differences and different ways and different cultures, we are indeed sh sharing a single world. So when you do dare to dream, dare also to continue to make your decisions, taking that into consideration, where you live, your community, and what you want to become, and to make sure that we don't let our guard down. We are a very rich and very resourceful country, a beautiful one and a grand one. Oh, by the way, it takes nine minutes to cross it in the space shuttle, but it's still big that when you do make those decisions, that you continue to look out for people who have less, and you continue to use what you have more all the time. Hopefully, all of you will take that opportunity. You have no reason to miss the boat. You now have opportunities in front of you, unbelievable and untamed. So I would say to you, indeed, aim high. Dare to dream, and trust me on that one, the sky is not the limit. <laughs>